What up, y'all? t here, and we're up to episode 17 of opening Super 7 Ultimates. This is Willa from Thundercats. I remember this episode. I've seen it a long time. Probably watch it tonight when I after I'm done with this video or whatever. But then again, I've been a huge addict of dual survival. I've, I watched the Survivor Die channel on the WB on um, on freaking my uh, Amazon Prime account or whatever on Prime Video. And I just, I just love watching all them videos like Bear Grylls and Dual Survival and all that stuff, man. First Man Out and all that stuff, man. It's good stuff, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyways, uh, but yeah, we've got Willow from Thundercats to check out. Go ahead and check out the back of the package. Got the Ultimate logo on top. And slide her open. And it looks like the Land of Lakes girl, the little butter girl. But it's Anyhow. not her, though. Let's read the back of her bio. You got some really nice art on the back, man. Let's see, a wise and resourceful Willa leads the treetop dwelling warrior maidens, allies of the Thundercats on Third Earth. Though she initially distrusted the feline offworlders, Willa recognized their leader Lionel's valor and integrity compared to the evil of Mumra and the mutants. Together with her younger sister, Nada and Willa often warns the Thundercats, uh, the Thundarian newcomers of Third Earth's many dangers, a master archer, and an arsenal of trick arrows. Willa fights evil in all of its forms. So there you go, man. There you freaking go. Anyways, let's bust her out and check her out, man. And here's Willa with all her accessories. She's got a quiver with all her arrows, which is actually feels pretty gummy, man. Feels pretty good. Not too bad. Nice. And then she comes with this little spider guy, which is hilarious from the cartoon. Let's see if we can focus in on him. That's freaking hilarious, dude. That's kind of cute. That's ridiculous, dude. This guy. That's freaking funny, dude. Oh, my God. And then we've got her hands so she can hold her arrows or pinch her arrows down when she's going to... And then, like, a nice little cry chopper handshake hand. Another little cry chopper handshake hand. Another uh, one for pulling her bow and arrow. Another grippy hand. Another grippy hand. And another grippy hand. So there you go. Here's her bow with a little... Actually got a nice little elastic cord on there. So that's freaking cool, man. That's freaking nice. Um, she comes with a dagger. So there you go. Nice little dagger. It matches her colors. And she has her little trick arrows. Looks like a cattail on there. I guess you could light that on fire or whatever. And then just a regular arrow. Yeah, she's a cute, cute figure, man. Really cool. Very reminiscent of the cartoon. Freaking nice. Her arms go out. They swivel. Um, she's got an elbow. Bend. Swivel. And there's a side hinge and a swivel with the hand. Her head can twist about. She can nod. She's got an upper torso. Can swivel a little bit, go side to side, back and forth a little bit. Waist swivel. Uh, let's see, she can do damn good splits. Her uh, rest of her skirt's like pretty gummy, so there you go. She's got a nice little booty. And um, let's see what else. Got a knee bend with uh, a swivel at the knee. And you got a rocker pivot swivel and ballerina swivel on her foot with a hole for a peg for a stand on the bottom of her feet and there you freaking go man that's cool man it's not bad not a bad little fig and then we have another little head where she's just like kind of like smiling and stuff like that just, you know but we're gonna leave this one on her just because i don't know we got to get her you know ready for a post for action and stuff so yeah Especially with the bows and arrows that she comes with. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get her. Alive, folks. It's kind of a pain in her ass to get her to hold her the arrow with the bow and stuff like that. But you can do it. You can do it. You just got to be kind of skilled and crafty in the art of action figuring and stuff. But uh, other than that, she's still a rat figure, man. Still really good. Still a really good figure, man. Still like her a lot, dude. She just looks like the Land of Lakes girl. But, anyways, uh, yeah, man. Rad figure, man. I like her, dude. I like her. I feel like these uh, Thundercat Ultimates uh, keep getting better and uh, are. Pretty cool, man. They they keep staying solid. I just ordered me a, um, an older wave that has the um, the the reddish orange version of uh, Lionel and then Monkey and Tiger or yeah, was it no um, 
Chitara and stuff and um, Monkey and, and uh, Mummer. But anyways, because I don't have that wave. But uh, I still like to get the Hachiman wave. It would be cool. But anyways, but um, yeah, it's uh, I got what I, I have. What I have, anyways. But uh, yeah, let's do um, let's get another Super Seven Ultimate right here, just to do a little bit of comparison. Here's uh, Lady J from the GI Joe animated series and stuff. So there you got Lady J. We can get her to stand appropriately. But yeah, there you go. As far as a little bit of comparison, and then I guess we should get Mongor out too. But I got to replace him because. I actually broke uh, one of his uh, horns on his head, but Rudy at Super 7 is cool to help me replace that. So I just got to send him the whole figure back and he'll send me a whole replacement back. So Super 7 does their solid when uh, when you need to get a replacement, man. So that's always really, really cool. There's good old Mongor next to her. As you can see, Mongor towers above her. So she's like a standard female type buck, female type figure. Anyways, um, yeah, let's look at Willa, dude. Freaking awesome figure. And for more Super 7 action, click the link below in the description for more Super 7 awesomeness. And go hit them up and uh, throw them some dough, man. Get some figures, man, because they make cool stuff, dude. They always have and always will, man. Always really good stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this figure, man. Or if you even watched this uh, episode with her in it, the cartoon and stuff. And, uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Have a good one. All right, later.